Hey guys, Cab here. And I have a video to do for you about these two fidget spinners. So, <clears throat> you guys may have seen my video last week or however long ago it was about the two spinners that my buddy Preston sent me. Shout out to Preston, uh, Big Mitts and Fidgets. Go check out his channel. Um, and I did not think I would become a spinner person. I just am not. I don't know. I just never really thought spinners were cool. Like, I'm one of those people who, like, wants to be cool. You know, like, at least I did when I was younger. Um, and I tried not to do things that I thought weren't cool. <laughs> and I thought spinners were gay. And when I say gay, I mean in the sense of the word that I'm a 90s kid and we call stuff gay. Not like I'm actually talking about the sexuality of something. So, you know, you don't need to freak out in the comments. Um, my email when I was a kid was timsgay at hotmail.com. My brother's name is Tim. <laughs> uh, so it, it just gives you a little reference. Anyway, uh, so Preston sent me those, the first batch of spinners. And I honestly didn't really care about them. I didn't like them that much. I barely played with them. They sat on my desk here, and then I sent them back a few days later. Um, then, uh, a couple of weeks went by and he sent me a second batch of spinners. One of which, one of which was this one, which I still have because, uh, Preston was so kind and actually gave me this spinner. Uh, this is a stainless steel. I believe it's stainless steel. We're pretty sure could be titanium, but I think it just feels light because these are tungsten and this is, you know, steel. Uh, but it feels like super light. Um, this is, I believe the Roto blade or Rota Blade, uh, Tri Stubby Mini. I think that's what it's called, or Tri Stubby. And then it has these cool buttons on it. Buttons are the, you know, these things. They're called buttons. And you can change them out on spinners. Um, and uh, I don't know if Sean made it up or if it's just like a saying in the community, but... Um, you also call them shoes, you know, it's like changing a pair of shoes. So I'm putting new shoes on. Um, I'm a, I'm a noob when it comes to fidgets. You guys know that I've only been in it for a couple months at this point, maybe three at this point. I don't know. Um, and spinners, I'm a complete noob. Um, but just like with fidgets, I try to approach these things w with the sense of not wanting to just burn money and try everything and, and you know like I did that with knives and I think I learned from that that you got to just go right to the top or you know what what is close to the top you're not going to get to the top because if you're a noob to a community you're just not going to have access to the top you know what I mean unless you're my buddy Sean who uh, just buys everything <laughs> And uh, I just want to give a big shout out to Sean Dumas. That's who I'm talking about. Uh, the man has uh, some deep pockets when it comes to buying fidgets. Um, he obviously does well in life. And we should all be happy for him for that. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like there's some kind of negativity towards him because he goes around buying all these fidgets and Currently, it's like spinners. He's buying all these spinners. He's buying lots of spinners. And when I say lots, I mean like a bunch of, not like lots. Well, I guess it's the same thing, huh? Uh, but I mean like one person's collection, like a lot. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> I just keep saying lot and a lot, and it all means the same thing. I love it. Um, but like because he spent money on stuff, people go to him and say, hey, I have these eight spinners I want to sell in a bulk deal, would you like it? And he's like, yeah, sure. He's not like actively like going around like, hey, sell me all your spinners, like, or jumping in front of people or whatever. Like, I just feel like there's some kind of negativity towards uh, Sean out there right now. And I think that's just people being jealous, honestly. I think people, you know, they see the stuff he's getting and they're like, man, I, I've always wanted that. How did he get that instead of me? I've been, I've been looking for that for like a whole year. And it's like, dude, he has money. <laughs> All right? He got money. You don't. That's how it works. I'm just kidding. Um, he's got more money than you is what I'm saying. You know, he can buy five spinners. He really likes two of them, but he buys all five. You know what I'm saying? 
where like normal people like us were like, I just want that one, the nice one. I got 500 bucks. I just want that one. You know what I mean? Um, he's like, I'll take all seven. Thanks. <laughs> you know, but to me, that's like good for you, dude. I mean, I, and if you know the guy, he's an amazing person. Um, he's so giving too. Like he's not just like going around grinching people's stuff. Like, um, he, he donates a lot of stuff around our, our, uh, fidget pass around group chat where we have a few channels and, and he helps us check things out and we all, you know, put stuff in, but like, he's kind of the, the, you know, um, whatever behind it. But, um, anyway, my point is, uh, the dude's awesome. Anyway, so him and Preston really like, were trying to get me into spinners. They just like knew I would like them. And I'm like, Eh, I don't really like spin, you know, so, you know, Preston's just like sending me spinners that I might like. And one of the ones he sent with this was the, um, the mini collision, uh, from cap, which I have some stuff coming from cap, which is kinetic Asia Pacific, which is a really cool brand. Um, they sell all their stuff direct. So go check out their website. Um, and they're cool people. They make buttons like really fancy buttons. I bought a set they make awesome spinners. Um, basically, if you ask most people, like when you get into spinners uh, and you just want to try like something really, really good right off the bat, you don't want to have to wait forever um, and you just want quality stuff, they're all going to say cap. Just go to cap. There, there's really no reason to, you know, like if you're not in the game for hunting things down and all that, just go to cap and get it over with. Um and specifically, just get a Horizon. That's what people will tell you. Um, but anyway, he sent me this and a Tungsten Mini Collision from Cap. And I, at first, was like, yeah, you know, it's just like a heavy brick, basically. But the more I played with it, the more I liked it. And I do still like this lighter weight stainless steel one. But I think what I like about this is the tri system. I like having three wings because I can easily do this flick. And that's a lot harder to do on a, um, uh, shit, what are they called? Now I can't remember. This is a try and this is a, uh, it's not a buy, Kev. Uh, it's a bar. Sorry. It's a bar spinner. It's harder to do the flick because you don't like right here. I'm in between these two wings and I can gear up and really flick off of it. Right. But on a bar spinner, you don't have that. You're, you, you know what I mean? You have all this room here, so you can't just like flick like that. I mean, you can, but I'm not getting as much gas on it. I have been kind of learning to line it up. So, like, sorry, I'm used to the little one right now. Um, but I'll kind of line it up like this. I'll use this finger and then get under here with this finger so I can get my flick So I can get my flick on, right? You can kind of hold, hold it with one and get your flick on. I don't know. It's kind of awkward, but I've been kind of figuring it out. It's a little harder on camera and stuff. But anyway, um, so I got this. I love this one. Thank you to Preston. And I like the W enough. By the way, tungsten, the, uh, I guess the chemical or the scientific periodic table symbol for uh, tungsten is W. It's called Wolfram. And uh, so everybody calls it W. So if you see W like listed next to a spinner or you hear somebody talking about the W or W for the W, like that's all them talking about tungsten. Um, it's a whole thing. So then they had me really eyeing up this, right? Um, first, I wanted the one called the Billum and the Trillum. And it basically looks like this, except these ends, you can actually unscrew the weights and add different ones. So they have different materials you can add to the ends. And they're like out, nobody make, they don't, they're not made anymore. They're hard to get and they're mad expensive, right? Like we're talking like a thousand dollars for a spinner, you know? Um, which to some people, you know, might not be that much to me. That's, you know, that's a lot of money. But there's these that are very similar in, in looks and everything, right? And feel because they have that sort of like, they have this sort of uh, empty space between the, the, the ends, right? They're not weights on the end, but um it has that sort of gap right there it has like a post and then a weight at the end right 
where most spinners are like this, where it's a solid piece that comes out. Does that make sense? Where this is kind of like almost looks like this is a plate and then this is like on the end. I know I'm doing a terrible job explaining that, but um, so these look like the Billum and the Trillum and they're also pretty popular from what I understand. Again, not an expert. These are the two EDC Nest. So this is the Nest OG and this is the Nest XL. And I actually found these because Preston was going to sell his Nest uh, XL. And he posted it up for sale, and he and, and he ended up actually lowering the price, and he was down to like three fifty, I think, on it. And then he started like putting different shoes on it, buttons, and uh, trying it out. And he was like, "Why am I going to sell this?" So he actually removed it, and I was trying to buy it off him. At that point, I had convinced myself I had to have it. Right? Of course, I waited until he changed his mind, and then I was like, "Yeah, I want it." Uh, <laughs> right. Um, and he's like, sorry, dude, I just, I put different shoes on it and I realized that I just don't want to sell it. And now I know why. Right. But I was like, damn it, dude, like whatever. So then I went on the hunt and when I go on the hunt guys, it's just like knives. You know, I, I, I find shit. Like I try really hard. I look around, like I do all the things normal people do. I talk to people, right. Whatever. And I got lucky. I Googled it. I think I just Googled, uh, two edc nest xl or something like that and it took me to this website uh plants wake you up and i had seen this website before i think they're on etsy too i'm not sure and um it's basically a guy i don't know what else he sells but he sells his fidgets on the website and it's like his used fidgets you know what i mean it's just like me selling my fidgets but he sells them on his website and he had the Nest XL. So I actually hit him up on Facebook and I was like, hey, um, you know, would you take this much for it? Or I was asking questions, I think. I forget. And it turned out he actually had both. He had the XL and the OG. And I made him an offer for both. Um, so I got both of these. I think I paid I paid six fifty for both. So essentially, three twenty-five a pop for these. Although he wanted, I think, three seventy-five for this one and three twenty-five for this one, um, and I ended up just getting them both for six fifty, whatever that means. So, and then I was like, you know, I'll probably just keep one. Like, I'll probably like one way better than the other, and then I'll just keep one. You know, and I got them in today, and uh, I posted the unboxing on Facebook. If anybody's curious, you can go check it out in the fidget. Um, the fidget daily group uh also shout out to the fidget pass around group we started a actual facebook group for it now so there's an fpag fidget pass around group facebook group now go check it out uh should be a blast i'm um, hoping that uh a lot of you guys join up and check it out it's you know mostly going to be about fidgets and stuff but also knives and other edc gear so you know, feel free to uh, come join and, uh, you know, post up in there, have some fun, you know what I mean? Ask your questions or teach us stuff because, um, you know, we're all either noobs or, you know, maybe we have some knowledge and it's always good to share that knowledge if you have it. Um, but anyway, and then I hung out with these things for today and I realized that these are just utterly amazing. Um I would love to see a tri-wing version of this. So, like, a tri-nest would be sick. Um, but these are in tungsten, so they're really... They have, like, you know, it's the heftiest of the materials you're going to be able to get. And that's kind of the uh, appeal to tungsten is it has that weight, right? And so when you get tungsten really whipping around, it just sounds and feels amazing in your hand. And yes, it took me a little while to realize that I wasn't a believer at first, um, but I am now, you know, I, I, absolutely just fantastic uh, what you get with the W. Um, and these nests in general are just insane. Like the, the way that they're, they're built with the, with that gap in there, right? It just gives you that weight on the end. And when you go to spin these, man, uh, like I can crank these better than any um, spinners I've handled. You know, like I said, I'm a big noob, 
and I was not someone who could just pick a spinner up and rip it, right? Um, but, man, I don't know if it's just these nests are perfectly aligned. Um, for the way I can grab the end of it, like, so I get it right. Let me see if I can. Of course, while I'm on camera, it's hard. Like, the way you can grab it just right there and whip it down is absolutely just bonkers. And just feeling the weight of it, like... Even when I do these turns, like, I'm just feeling this, like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's just a chunk of metal whipping around in my hand, you know what I mean? And that's the XL, which is really good. And then you get the small one, and I don't know, I I, I love both of them, honestly. Uh, this one is more pocketable, so it was the one I kind of put in my pocket today when I went out. Um, I can obviously get, you know, some stronger rips on it because it's smaller. You get that smaller circumference, um, you know, to, that you have to whip around. And it does get some nice sounds. Now, these don't have the stock bearings in them. Uh, whoever, you know, I guess it was the guy who I bought them off of. He must have put different bearings in. And you can see there's white ceramic bearings inside of a metal cage. Um... One thing I'll note is they're not flush. You see that little bit of a gap around the bearing? And then on this side, it sticks up just ever so slightly out of there. And I think that's why, you'll see when I put this button back on. There's a little bit of a gap here. You see how that gap is bigger than that gap? And I think that's solely because that bearing sticks out just that ever so slight bit um does it really mess with the function i don't think so i mean i have a bearing tool on the way from cap so um i'll probably be you know adjusting that or replacing it as soon as i can oh that was a rip that was a rip right there so anyway i'm having an absolute blast with spinners guys i you know i i really never thought it would happen is basically why I'm making this stupid long video ranting about it. Of course, I wanted to talk about the nest and the and the XL nest, but I don't know. Uh, you know, maybe it's one of those things. Like uh, we never think we're gonna become our dad, you know, and then we're freaking out about having to do, you know, the yard work every week, and you know, yelling at people for turning the ac up and <laughs> like just dumb shit you never thought you would care about right um so yeah i love spinners that's it that's it that's the story tonight guys i love spinners i actually had this in my pocket tonight it was the only fidget i had in my pocket tonight when i took my kid out for a walk and i was very happy spinning this guy around while i was walking so that's the moral of the story. And then I have some other ones I really like. Like this youth pill bug is amazing. Um, it's just so cool. It's obviously meant to look like a Matrix uh, robot or something like that. But look at that. Look how cool that is. And then when it... When those wings come down and then it still spins. You can spin it without popping the wings up they're actually magnetically on there so they come off with inertia or whatever the word is you know what i'm trying to say the uh, it's not inertia it's the uh ba -ba -ba force you know what i'm talking about what's the damn word kev god I'm, man i'm losing it tonight but you know what i'm saying just cool as hell i mean there's nothing cooler than this guys and it's you can get one of these at big white edc uh yeah quick plug for big white edc i love them um you can get one of these at, for 89 dollars at big white edc yeah it's not made out of zerk or anything but it is metal um they have a cheap ass one that like glows in the dark that's different this is the youth slash budget version then there's that plastic one, and then there's the real one made out of, like, Zerk or steel or whatever. But this youth one or budget one for $89, I think everybody should own one of these if you like spinners. I mean, if you think this looks cool, 
I pretty much implore you to pick one up because it is cool. You know what I mean? It's absolutely just unique as hell. Um, and then there's the 3B spinner. I really love this too. And I have a bunch coming. You know me. I have more on order. But I still think this is cool. Just love the sounds this makes. It's also a haptic coin. Like, I like these kind of, you know, circular type, uh, type spinners too. Um, which, cool thing about this, you see how it spins and they come out like this? But you can do it the other way too. I don't know how that works, but it works. So, it's just really cool. I don't know. I'm into spinners, guys. That's all I can say. That was the point of this video, and I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. Are you into spinners? I know some of you right now are just like, you probably didn't even make it this far, but you're like just shaking your head at me right now going, my God, what is Kev talking about? Fucking fidget spinners. I was there. I was with you, man. I was with you not too long ago. Um, but now I totally get it. I totally get it. Uh, and my two-year-old was having fun with this today too. So we had a little bit of a, uh, we had a little bit of fun, you know, I held it while she was spinning it around. Uh, that was a blast. So anyway, I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and I will catch you later.